good example to show to people what to do with an outright shrub. Uh, it was, for most people, even advanced bonsai people, this is just impossible. You see, uh, you, everybody has heard about going to nature and collecting trees, and many people think you go to nature and you find a bonsai. No, this is what you find. And this is what you have to make a bonsai of. And no book tells you how to do that. I also had this problem uh, many, many years ago when I, I knew that in the mountains there were some trees and I found them like this. And then I thought, okay, there must be some instruction how I get a bonsai. There was no instruction. I'll tell you why that is. Because in Japan they don't do that. Nobody goes to the mountains and collects a broadleaf tree. So there's simply no instruction from them. I didn't know that at that time. So I went at that time to Bonsai Center Heidelberg, which was the center in Europe, that was 35 years ago, and thought I asked the big experts there, and they gave me a lot of foam, and in the end I realized that they knew less than I did. Okay, so I had to find out somehow, and this is what I'm going to show today. You asked me of my plan, my plan is to make this looking like a, a hopefully future bonza and the secret I will reveal while I do that. Okay, thank you. Now we have the situation that uh, after having cut off the obviously too long branches, we have the situation that now the, the structure of the tree is clear. Now we can see, aha, uh -huh, interesting, we have some tree which is interesting here. We have a strange long tree which is here and my suggestion was to cut it off but the boss wouldn't let me. So, hmm. I thought, oh, isn't that not obvious to cut that off right away? No, she wouldn't let me. So, so I said, okay, while, while she is, she's helping, working here uh, and, and cleaning this, she only cuts off dead stuff at the moment. See, we are not designing yet, we are only cleaning. We're still in cleaning mode. But now we start designing. And I said, okay, maybe later on she'll let me cut that off, okay? At the moment, ah, uh, and, and now I'm thinking about this here. And this uh, looks interesting, but it's not a very good bonsai at all. Uh, all these branches are very interesting, but they are way too long. I would love to keep them, but this is not uh, part of a reasonable design. I want in the end something that looks like a tree and not like a shrub. So unfortunately, I cannot do what they do over there. Put a, a lot of raffia in the wire and then bend it and it will look good. I can only cut these things and then wait for growth. It's gonna take five years and it's gonna look good. But the problem is, after I cut everything, it will look very, very raw and not good. And this is why you never see a demonstration. But for a change, you do here. Okay, so now I ignore this, this ugly thing back there and I make a lot of these shorter and you also. Okay, whatever you think, you just cut it back.
do here. We took up this, this old uh, container thing and you find a very tough, very thick uh, root ball here, very firm. Why did we do that? Well, uh, the, 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 the question was really, uh, do we cut off now or do we sort of bend down? We don't really bend down with wiring and bending, but with, with guy wires. Now, where to attach the guy wires if we later on want to put it into a, a bonsai pot? So we better uh, have a first, first put it in a bonsai pot and then attach the guy wires to the pot. We also need, Thomas, Thomas, we also need some, some substrate. Okay. beautiful because nature did it. Everything that nature does is beautiful. Well, look yourself in the mirror. Hey, well, I'm not so sure about that. So we have to enhance nature. We, we, we have to make it better. And that is basically the styling of bonsai. Only the naturalistic style is about enhancing it so that you never see that somebody worked on it. Whereas on the bonsai, you will always see that somebody has formed a crown, obviously. No, nature would never form a crown like that. On a naturalistic tree, you think somebody found it like that. Okay, and that's the trick here. So we work for very hard for 20 years on the tree so that any person from outside seeing the tree thinks we found it like that outside. So that, that's a bit ironic uh, what, what we're doing, but that's basically what we're doing. Also, we, we machen den Baum.
okay. Now while she is cutting here, I'm now thinking about this long thing. Well, actually, yes, I could have cut it off, right? But then we, it would be a, a lonely tree. It is never going to be a very beautiful tree anyway. It's going to be a wild looking tree, more Chinese than Japanese. So it might as well have a second one, which is a bit unorthodox. So it's, it's a twin trunk, triple trunk, one, two, three, quadruple trunk. So that's fine. skill to foresee what will happen if you cut that off. Will that be better? Because if that's not better, then it's too late. Okay, so what do you thought? I think it's pretty sure that this might go, right? Okay, without further thinking. Now, most, many people now, they are, especially women, sorry, they are hesitant to, to hurt the tray, to cut it off. And then they say, oh, I will do that next year. Or oh, uh, the saw is not good. Or the, uh, it's not a good time for the tree. That's all excuses, okay? And then the more you think, the less you will do. At one point, you make a decision, you just do it. Also, this machen wir dann einfach. Da tun wir nicht lange. Wenn er dann noch lange herumredet, dann kommt er nur mehr. Und noch dazu, wenn ich das demokratisch abstimmen lasse, dann heißt es sowieso nein. way take very thick wire and then bend the branch but I don't like it because this is much easier and very quick and for example if I don't like the branch I just take the wire off in, in, in a millisecond sort of and whereas uh, wiring takes a long time and doesn't look much better anyway because you have to take very very thick wire on this kind of tree to ever bend it's a horn beam it's called horn beam because it's hard like a horn I was really saying that I absolutely had, in the beginning, had the plan to cut this off. And still, from this side, as you can see, yeah, it's somehow. And I was always thinking that this is a front. <laughs> Let's turn it around. You see, if you look at it from here, then this makes a lot of sense. It's back. It's not, it doesn't bother me anymore. It gives the whole thing a lot of depth. And now it's a quadruple trunk. One, two, three, four. Now the bonsai book tells you that cannot possibly be. Why is that? Because the number four in Japanese means death. Okay, so then do we care about that? I don't care about that. Also nach dem Buch ist es ja... Well, some of you may be disappointed, but I warned you in the beginning, this is not a finished bonsai, this is just the beginning. And then you see, wow, this looks very wild. I mean, I don't like it. That's okay. You, you don't have to like it. Uh, but then take another trick. Okay, this will not, never ever look like a very nice polished licked plastic Japanese bonsai. It will always look like a wild trick. So if you like that, then that's your material. Also, we also understand why we, we never see something like this in a demonstration normally. Because that is really the end. Um, I, I hate to tell you that's it. Because the rest will, will happen in the next five to ten years. And then it will look 
look good, but never like a polished Japanese tree, it will look more like a Chinese tree, like a wild tree. Okay, and the, nobody of the big names does that because you don't want to ruin your image by, by being, ending up with such an ugly thing. My image is ruined anyway, and I don't care. Okay, in the next year, I will just let it grow. Now, this, this whole summer, we do nothing. We, 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 we water that tree, we feed it a lot, and we let it grow like wild. This is a species which has, uh, grows very easily if you treat it nicely, uh, uh, and, and it, it will multiply the, the number of, of branches very quickly. It will be very dense in two or three years. And we first of all let it grow the whole summer. And then in, in fall, like late summer, August, September, then we, we cut it back like a head more, more. And you see, not, not individually, but more or less we cut it back like a head. And then uh, over winter it, and next year the same thing again. Only next year we we're cutting it twice. We, 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 we let it grow in spring, May, and in June. I cut back the top and leave the lower part alone. Why? Because the top always grows stronger and lower. So it will look very silly because it's very wide up down there and, and very short up there. And, and then in fall I cut it again. And I do this for three or four years and then comes the final styling. Because so far I have just still produced good raw material. And then I come and take fine scissors one day in October, November when the foliage is off and do the detailed design.